the Super 16 Sports Final. Hello everyone and welcome to week nine of the high school football season. Some great games to get to and then Ron will join us at the end of the show with the Penn State preview. But first we start in District 4 with undefeated Canton taking on those Milton Black Panthers. The Warriors come in undefeated from the northern tier while the Black Panthers have rolled off seven in a row after the week one loss to the Mounties. First quarter quarterback Kale Bastion to Luke Goodwin, 21 yards to the 35, then Bastion on the keeper, eight yards in for the score and says, let's go to the WNEP camera. Warriors going backwards though, Gary Verdinelli with the sack for the Black Panthers and they would take the lead into the half, seven nothing. Third quarter more of the same, Luke Godwin with the sack at the four yard line and then Chris Doyle, strong second effort on the six yard touchdown run. That gives Milton the 14 zip advantage. Four and a half minutes left. Canton finally gets on the board. Holden Ward, four yard touchdown run to make it 14 to seven. The last play, a Hail Mary from midfield. Doesn't come close to answering any prayer in the rain. And Milton wins it 14 seven over number six Canton. Here's Jim Coles with the reaction from the Black Panthers. Thanks Steve, Kurt Zettelmoyer, head coach of the winning Milton Panthers win. You lose opening night, you've won since. What have you done better? You know, I think we started playing better in all three phases of the game. I mean, that's what happened. Tonight, you saw where we had hiccups. Penalties killed us, took yeah. us out of situations. I mean, we had a lot of yards there early and didn't put much up on the board for it. So we have to get better at that. But overall, I'm very proud of our kids, the way they responded from week one. We've gotten better steadily. And that's what we keep saying every week, build on it, build on it, build on it. Yeah. And uh, that's where we're at. And, you know, obviously the coaches, the kids, you know, everybody, that's why we're 8-1 right now. Yeah, the penalties hurt. I think you had a couple of big plays earlier. You just missed on in a double move. Absolutely. But your defensive and offensive line dictated. Talk about how that was such a big, important thing of this game to win tonight. So I think when, you know, from even before the season started, we talked about our offensive line was going to be huge for us. Our defensive line was going to be huge. And, you know, anybody that's been around football long knows that the offensive and defensive line is what wins games for you. Um, and that's the way we've been all year. So you, we're very proud of them. You want to be playing your best at the end of the season. You are. Are you optimistic? Yeah, I mean, like I said, for us, we take it one week at a time. Next week's Warrior Run, Crosstown Rival, and we'll get after it. All right, senior night for them. Milton winning their eighth straight. Jim Coles, Newswatch 16 Sports, Northumberland County. Thanks, Jimmy. We stay in District 4 as the undefeated Trojans take on Loyal Sock Township. Troy in the top spot in 2A. Lancer is fighting to gain control for the one seed in 3A. Troy's first drive, quarterback Evan Woodward takes it himself up the middle, breaks some tackles and sheds the tackler there. 30-yard touchdown run, 31-7 Troy. Sock second play of the ensuing drive. Quarterback tries to find his fullback, but it's picked off by Troy's Jack Burbage. Wow, maybe the play of the night takes it back for six, 38-7 Troy in the third. Loyal Sock Township putting together another drive and at the 10, quarterback would drop back in the end zone, picked off by Cameron Harwick, great defensive play there. Troy driving now and running back Clayton Smith runs it in from the three. Extra point, no good. And number four, Troy, 44-7 over Loyal Sock Township. I mean, I've been watching a lot of film and I just seen the play developing going all the way through and I just read it, read the fullback going out and happened to be there. Staying focused and really looking at the ultimate goal, but taking it one week at a time and working together as a team. We tried to use everyone and uh, the whole team showed up tonight and we're glad for that. That's a good football team right there. The Mounties rolling into Useville to take on the Spartans. Ground and pound is what Coach Eisworth has been hanging his hat on as a coach. South's first drive ball on the 41. Landon Gephardt gets the end around, takes it in down to the 25 for the big gain and a few plays later, Tad Lusk hits Dylan Scheller in the end zone for the 24 yard TD and South would take the 7-0 lead. In the second quarter now, Usville gets the advantage. Quarterback Tyler Wetzel takes it himself, runs it in from the 13, extra point, no good. South still up 7-6, ensuing South drive. Tad Lusk hits wide open. Landon Gephardt for the 27-yard TD pass. Wow, a thing of beauty there into the night sky, and South Williamsport goes on to win it 28-12 over Usville. Wolfsbury lost some key pieces over the summer, but Hanging in there at five and three and out to the back mountain to face number 14, Dallas. Mountaineers get it going first. Dylan Geske with the handoff 
and the momentum stiff arm around the edge turns on the Jets and bowls his way to the 23. A few plays later, quarterback Brady Zapatiki finishes up the drive in the end zone to give Dallas the 7 nothing lead. First offensive play for Wilkesbury. Quarterback Jake Howe goes for the big play, but Lucas Turpak leaps for the interception and a nice turnover there for the D in Dallas. Still first quarter, Dallas on the reverse. Zach Pacheski weaves his way through the defense, sprints down the sideline, breaks a tackle and finally gets into the end zone 50 yards later for the TD for Coach Manello. And number 14, Dallas holds on for the win, 14-7 over the Wolfpack. Schuylkill League football in District 11. Minersville and Schuylkill Haven coming to this one with identical records of 7-1. and one. Second half started with the Hurricanes up 21-14, to 14, but that wouldn't last long as the Batlin Miners would score after the fumble recovery. Running back Luke Stevanoski scoring to make it 21-21. After recovering onside kick, Miners three-star quarterback Dante Carr would make a huge run to bring the score to 28-21. Minersville, Hurricanes would battle back Coming up with two big running touchdowns. The big one right here, Nico Carastia, number 44, rumbling in 70 yards for the touchdown. That would set the score at 35 28 with a little more than three minutes left in the fourth, and that would stay. Schuylkillhaven defeats Minersville, moving to 8 and 1 on the season, 35 28. Here's Coach Farr. For us, it was just, you know, come in, let's play our game. We started out really slow, then we came out hot. And turnovers, turnovers, you know, it's just the resilience. I'm just proud of these guys. You know, when you're starting six sophomores and two freshmen, to be resilient like that and just keep playing and coming back and um, just with no quit, uh, that's a good sign of, of, of things to come in the future for us. So we're just happy that we got the win today. Congrats to Coach Farr. The Super 16 Sports Final off and running with some great games already. Now a matchup down in Luzerne County as the undefeated Warriors play host to the Tigers of Southern Columbia. Highlights of that when the Super 16 Sports Final comes right back.